Hello, my name is Raj Singh, and I am an award-winning author, TEDx and international speaker, a global rock star, lead singer of a music band. And I'm here to let you know about my experience with a remote spiritual healer, and that is Ed Strachey. And when I met him for the first time, it was in a group setting where he uh, did a mini healing session, only for a few minutes. And I remember in that session, I started having uh, like tingling of um, my fingers and then after tingling of my uh, feet. And I never had that sensation happen before uh, in, by doing any type of spiritual thing or meditation or anything like that. So it was new to me and I was fascinated by that feeling and I wanted more of it. I wanted to explore it and see what it was. So then I decided to uh, make sure I enroll in his programs for group coaching as well as uh, private coaching as well. And I had uh, some serious back pain that I've had uh, most of my life uh, where it just gets tight and stiff and I always have to many, many times for the day uh, bend over and stretch it out. And now that I've been working with Ed through a, a few group sessions as well as private coaching, basically just clearing up uh, the energies uh, within my body, aligning it to the universe and so forth with his uh, certain strategies and exercises that he has me do. And I feel even more of the tingling now where I can actually have that. And that's just energy flowing. And what he said was it was just my body being uh, blocked up before energetically, spiritually, and now it's flowing. So that's what the pins and needles are, just like uh, if you had a container with water the same way. And I love that his, his metaphors and his stories, even his animated videos that he have, uh, are just so uh, easy and simple to grasp. It's not just these high level concepts that are hard to understand. It's very um, easy to, to totally comprehend it. And I love it just like that feeling of the, the energy. And now um, after those sessions, the back pain has uh, significantly been reduced. I don't have to uh, bend over and stretch as much anymore uh, for my lower back. And he said it will go away just with um, me repeating to do more of what he uh, says to do for the exercise and so forth. And I do believe that because I've seen actual results uh, so far. And what I like most about Ed is sometimes when these uh, gurus uh, sell a program to you, then you feel like it was just for a sale. And I don't feel like that with him. I actually feel like he genuinely cares and really wants to, to help and make sure that I'm doing the right thing and I'm doing my, my exercises uh, that he gives me that I can clear my energy. Um, because he's always checking up on me, even if I don't reach out to him first, just to make sure I'm good and see if I need any type of remote healing at that time. And I really, really uh, appreciate that. And uh, I'm just uh, so blown away by that level of uh, integrity and that level of service. So I really appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. And um, just another thing that I admire so much is that he really shows me how to do the work myself. And that's what I think also a lot of the gurus out there, they want to make sure and a lot of very, uh, you know, professionals out there, I would say, or, or people that are specialized in any type of a service, they try to have you stay with them. So you always need them in the future. And he's the opposite. And sometimes the business part of me, I'm an investor, I'm a, I'm a businessman uh, for, for, for over a decade full time. And um, the business side of me, the entrepreneur in me is like, really? How come he just keeps putting the power in me so that I can really heal myself, I can change myself, I can do all of that, and that's what he teaches. So I don't have to rely on him for anything. He's showing me how to actually have the power to do it anytime, and that I think is remarkable because he doesn't have to do that, but he does, and that shows me the type of character he has as well. So I'm just uh, very glad to have crossed paths with him and, and learn from him. And what I love even more is the practical use of it because I am a uh, technical person. I am just a, you know, forget the, the, the fluff. Like I said, that's why I never had the, the, the spiritual awakening before, if you will, because I'm very, I was very close off to it. I'm a technical kind of guy, show me the results. And what I like is when, when he tells me about the exercises to do and the certain visualizations and how to do them, he's telling me it only takes, it could literally be done in a few seconds anywhere. It could be done while I'm driving. It could be done in a busy airport. And I've never heard anyone uh, say those things before. I've always heard in my culture and my upbringing that before you do certain types of meditations, you have to, let's say, fast from certain foods or you have to light some incense and, and, and it'd be quiet and you have to fold your legs and clasp your hands and do all these different things to um, get ready 
to start doing it. It had to be the perfect environment. And what he says is, no, you can do, do that at any time, anywhere. And I love that. And I've been seeing the results. I see it working. Um, and uh, even more than that, everything he teaches is actually about love, which surprised me. Because I remember when I first met him, he can also be a very outspoken kind of guy, a bit, um, uh, uh, I don't want to say egotistical, but a bit uh, confident because he knows what he has. And uh, then to see when you actually, uh, or when I actually am in a session with him, whether it's group or private one-on-one -on -one or, or from his courses that he has online, you'll see that he is a totally different guy when it comes to this stuff. He, he actually is uh, extremely humble and is just all about love, love for the universe, love for all beings and love for all things and love for every cell of my body. Uh, so thank you again, Ed Stranger.